so so when I bought it, yeah, it got delivered to this house where I, we were making this County Crows record. Uh, it was uh, This Desert Life, County Crows album. And uh, I mixed that record on there, on, on here, get my pronouns. And then, uh, and then it went to Mississippi and got set up in my studio, Sweet Tea, there. And made, you know, a babillion records on it down there. I mean, you know, we did, uh, it's, it's so nice to have the, uh, it's, it's nice to have something where, um, like, you know, this was still, at the time I set up my studio in Mississippi Sweet Tea, this was still in sort of a conversion from analog to digital time, you know? Like, people still made a lot of records on two-inch tape, and people were playing around with digital formats. And I had a radar at the time, and I liked the radar a lot. I felt like it sounded, it had its own sort of musicality to how it sounded. But I think it could have been, you know, there could have been sort of a digital, not digging it nest to using it on some projects. Like I did two Buddy Guy albums, both on radar, using this console. Uh, one won a Grammy, uh, the other one should have won a Grammy first. Um, they're, they really sound special. And I mean, I'll say it about me, it's just they really sound special. And that's just, you can't get away with that with, without something that can do this, you know. You can just push up through it and you've got a style. You know, you've got an attitude, a real warmth that isn't bullshit, you know. I used to, a uh, friend uh, has a, had a vinyl company, you know, where he put out, you know, specialized albums, you know. And he did a deal with Jimmy Page with the Led Zeppelin guys, and he did all the Led Zeppelin records on super heavy vinyl, got the original tapes, you know, did it from the original master tapes, you know, that whole thing. Did, redid the artwork so it was all beautiful again. It's a really great thing. And uh, you can put on the first Led Zeppelin album, and it sounds like this console. You just go, oh yeah, they did it through this era Neve. That's that sound. And there's a quality to it. You just go, that's, that's a very usable tool. So it, in my case, you know, I like to work on both. Well, I don't know. I'll work on nearly any kind of music in a way. It's like I could work on a buddy guy or I can work on mod uh, Modest Mouse or I can work on Mute Math. You know what I mean? Those are very different kinds of music, I think, to a lot of people. But to me, they all make sense. But you need, I, for me, I need tools like this to be able to do that. Where a mute math, we'd sit around with three workstations and just grind stuff down to the, every bit, every pixel, you know what I mean? And just, and then reanimate it and pour silicone on it and reanimate it and it turns into music, right? But then to be able to have this where you, as your finishing stage even, and just say, wow, out of that workstation through the Neve, that's a special record. I think the sound, the kind of vibe that a console like this that can give to something is, it's, everybody will talk about the warmth, you know, analog warmth, and that's true. I mean, the analog thing is an analog thing, and this is prime analog thing, right? But there's also a, there's, there's just more elements to that. There's like, I like the push in it. There's a push you can get from the console. Like something can be exciting, but you wished it was more specially exciting, right? And you can go through here and you can make the console work a little bit harder. And then it starts to take on a, a new kind of pushed characteristic. It's not distorted. It's not a kind of bit you know, crushed or any of that sort of stuff. It just has this kind of little more thing and then all of a sudden it really can bring out life if that's the right thing for that piece of music, you know. And that's hard to, it's hard to see on a scope. <laughs> I think you can, but it's hard and it's like, and then to do it across 40 channels, like that's the other thing. I mean, Emulation gets better all the time. You know, uh, you know, the UAD 1073 sounds real good. But 
you can't, you can't kind of do that. You just can't do it. It's a thing where you can a whole mix. Or you can, you know, I've used the mix backwards. I mean, I've used the console backwards in that sense where you hit it too quiet and you make the gain output of the console work a little harder. Whole different sound. That's an amazing sound. Bigger, it gets bigger, warmer, fatter. Well said. Artists walk back in and they go, whoa, what'd you do? I go, not much. Just this one thing you can do and it did it to everything. You know what I mean? It's not like, it's not like I had to go in and figure out all my instances of tape emulation you know, in Pro Tools. And I love Pro Tools, but together. I like, I, see, I like digital and this put together. That's my favorite thing. Magic. What do you say with Golden? Okay, good. Yeah. Do you guys want a fucking console now or what? <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's one way to say it. They're probably asked four times I could say that different ways. There might be a better way to say it, but... Yeah. But I mean, I don't, I wouldn't want to try to say it like an engineer would say it. Yeah. Because I'm, I'm not really one, you know. It's like I can't, I can't be uh, technical in that yeah. sense. I don't want to be, you know. Well, I think, you know, at least in the parameters, in the paradigm we're in right this second, those are the only two reasons. One is, is that a console is a sound thing laid out where you can be physical. You know, there's also the physical aspect of working on a console that is just different. It's just, it brings out a different musicality in some people. Just to be able to touch things and be tactile or kind of physical, stand up while they do it, all that. It's just different than a workstation, you know? But then, so there's what you can do with music and then there's the, uh, the wow factor of clients. Like you, you know, you want to work with a somebody and you finally get them to come by your, your, your room and they walk in and they go, whoa. And you go, got them. You know, it's like, and you, the console can do that. And there's not many things that really do that. So, I mean, it's valid. I, I, I never bought it for that reason, but I sure watched it happen. 